when hosting a public Minecraft server. One of the most important things is having a good looking and well moderated chat. If you don't put some effort into your chat, it will be an absolute mess and, and nobody wants that. So that is why today we're going to take a look at an awesome Minecraft plugin called Advanced chat, which adds a ton of features to your Minecraft server to significantly improve your Minecraft chat. It is great. So allow me to show you what it's all about. I do want to ask you to double check if you're actually subscribed to my channel. Almost 90% of my daily viewers is not an actual subscriber, even though it is 100% free and you would help me out so much. Also, thanks a lot to the developer of Advanced Chat for sponsoring today's video. So the first step to getting Advanced Chat working on your Minecraft server is actually purchasing the plugin. You can find a link to this PicketMC page down below. Do make sure you're logged into a PicketMC account, otherwise you will not be able to see the page. Now aside from Advanced Chat, you also want to download Placeholder API. While it is not required, a lot of things will actually not work well if you don't have it installed. It's 100% free, so simply download this one too. And you also want to download Protocol Lib. Once again, just a dependency. Make sure to download it and also install it on your server. Now, because this is a chat plugin in Minecraft, it is a bit harder to visualize in a video all the cool stuff it can do. Luckily for us, there's a massive list here with all sorts of features that this plugin adds. And we're going to take a deeper dive in some of these. But one of the coolest features that this plugin comes with is AI powered chat filters. Now I can almost hear your screaming. Kasasura, we do not care about AI. And I don't either. But this AI filter is actually really cool. So first of all, as soon as we join the server, you will have this cool join message. Welcome Kasasura to our server. Of course, you can put your own name here. Thank you for joining us. Your adventure awaits. Now this plugin also adds two cool commands, slash buy and slash discord. Now when I now type slash discord, you can just see a very general invite link here but you can of course replace this one with your own so people can easily get on your discord server now to use the ai powered chat filtering you don't have to set up a single thing simply install the plugin and after that when somebody says a bad word like this for example you can see that immediately the ai filter will catch on you've been warned for inappropriate language this is the message that people will see as soon as they try to send a message like that. Then this warning over here, that is a warning that staff members will receive. So warnings, Kasasura has been warned for inappropriate language. Because I'm also staff on the server, I will see both. Now inside of the ai.yml file, which is located in the advanced chat folder inside of the plugins folder, you're able to change all sorts of settings. So should the AI filtering be enabled at all? And if untrue, then these are all the things it will filter. So if you want to disable some of these things, you can. You can also change the action it will take. So right now it will only warn. But if you want the plugin to straight out ban people, which I would not recommend as it is all AI powered. But yes, you can change everything over here. Now let's have a look at our own message. Over here you can see I'm in the owner group. My name is Kasasura. And then there is a GG tag. What does that even mean? Allow me to show you. So first of all, if you have protocol lib installed, when you hover a name, you can see information about that person. So so you can see the hearts I have, the levels I have, my playtime, and also my current balance. Now the GG tag you see over here, you can actually change that by typing slash tags. This is the menu that will appear, and over here you can just choose your own tag. So there's a hacker tag, there's a GG tag, which is the one I currently have. If you want a noob tag or a wrecked tag or salty tag, you know, you can just set the one you prefer. Of course, everything here too is customizable in the config. Where's the new one. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yes. Yes, I like it. Now, if you want to change those group prefixes, you can also do that inside of the advanced chat plugin folder. So for that, you want to go to format. And after that, you will see all the different formatting types. So currently we got four. Owner is the one that was applied to me. And when we click on there, we can see why. So first of all, owner has the highest priority, of course. And you can assign a format like this with a permission. In this case, advanced chat dot format and then the format name what is the format name in this case it is owner but over here you can change all the information about this certain format type so this is the rank prefix we can completely change that you can also change the information 
menu will show when you hover over the name. You can also change the color of the messages you send. You can change if a tag will appear, yes or no. You can pretty much change anything. And because when you're an OP on the server, you will get access to all the permissions and this one has the highest priority, the owner rank is the one that appears for me. So when we, for example, go to mod, you can see it has a lower priority and instead of red, everything will be green, green color scheme, also green chat messages, but yeah, everything is customizable. Now, another very cool thing is that other players will get a notification as soon as you mention them. So when you send a message and you mention another player like this, they will actually get a notification that they're mentioned and it will clearly show up in their chat, which is very cool and convenient. Now, something you can also do is change your chat color. So when you type slash color in chat, you will be able to pick whatever color you like. I like purple. Let's choose for purple. There we go. Simply click. Hi there. And you can see now my beautiful chat message has a purple color. Isn't that cool? Now, another cool feature is custom dev messages. Once again, you can find this config file in the advanced chat folder. But over here, you can change every single dev message. So over here, you can see all the entities and all the different dev messages that will appear when you get killed by one of them. So you can change the color. You can change the name. You can essentially just turn it into something very funny. And besides only entities, there's also, of course, environments. So block explosions, dragon breath, drowning, all the different messages that will appear. It is just very fun to customize this and make it a little unique, you know? But something that is very important to know and show is the existence of channels. So currently, when I chat, you will just see this. But when I do slash channel join, I can either choose between general or SC, which stands for staff chat. And when you click on staff chat and then press enter, you will see the message you have joined staff chat channel. And when I now say hello, AI keeps me from doing that. But when I say lol okay, you can see, hey, it is being sent inside of the staff chat, which means only other people inside of the staff chat can see that message. And you can of course make it so that only your mods can enter the staff chat. And when I do slash channel leave, I can leave all the channels. So now I will not be in any channel anymore. And when I do channel join general, you can see you've joined the general channel. Hi there. And now I'll be in the general chat. And only people who are actually able to enter that general chat will see that message. Now this can of course be really handy for a lot of different things. Just to give you an example, a staff chat. But also maybe you want a VIP chat in your server. A specific chat that only people who have a rank can enter. It can be a cool extra perk for your VIP players. It is just awesome. Now there's also a slash report command you can use. So when you do slash report, then type out a name. Name, for example, Brad Chop, and then a reason not subscribed to Kasai Sora. Yes, I know, people are going pretty far these days. But when you do that, you will report a specific player. Your report has been submitted. Thank you for helping us keep the server clean. And you and your mods will be able to see those reports and act accordingly. Now, we've gone over a ton of features already. But keep in mind, this is just the beginning. This plugin comes with so many features, it is actually insane. Pretty much everything that you would want to do with a Minecraft chat, you can do with this plugin. It is really cool and I would definitely recommend checking it out. And that is going to be it for today. I want to thank you so much for watching. Do make sure to double check if you're actually subscribed to my channel. Let's bring that 90% down a bit. Subscribing is 100% free. You literally got nothing to lose. So make sure to press that button. Also, do make sure to join my Discord, the Kasasura Universe, link down below. And thank you so much to my channel members for the incredible support. You guys are truly legends. And then I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.